Hi, welcome to Life's Leaf. This is Dee Dee River, and I'm wishing everybody a happy solstice. Tonight is, for us, the dark of the year. Uh, it is the shortest day. Last night actually was the longest night, although tonight's nearly as long. But it's the turning of the year back towards the light. And uh, at this time I'd like to wish everybody a turning back towards the light, towards a more decent world, towards um, more care for one another, more consideration, more cooperation. Human beings can do amazing things when they're working together. Communities and so on that come together with a common will can do almost anything. Uh, it multiplies our abilities immensely when we are not working against one another. And this is one of the most important things that we can do. Uh, we have plenty of problems that we need to address. We have the coming climate catastrophe. We have the biodiversity catastrophe. We are likely in the next couple of decades anyway to see a steadily rising increase in the price of almost everything without a consequent increase in wages and income. We're likely to see a more evening out between the so-called developing world, the world that we have been exploiting in the West in order to keep our things inexpensive relative to our incomes, to keep our incomes high and our prices low. We do that by basically charging a vastly different amount of money for our goods relative to the labor that we provide. And that is basically how it comes down to. But we've seen an increasing number of people um, in the United States, in Australia, in the UK, and so on, having to deal with the fact that their income in real terms has been declining. And I'm not talking about in real economic terms, you know, in terms of dollars uh, adjusted for inflation. I'm talking about the ability to buy basic things like decent food or provide ourselves with housing. It's been really difficult for uh, many, many people, for a lot of people. Added to that, we've had people trying to distract from this by basically generating hostility between people instead of working on a common goal to address the problems of making sure that everybody has what they need. And I'd like us all on this day to think about what kind of a world do we want to live in? If we all thought about what kind of a world we want to live in, and then once we've agreed roughly on that, or as much as possible on that, work in a common way to try and provide that. That's what we should be doing instead of factional politics, electoral politics, which are all about who do you put in power over you, when putting people in power over you basically empowers them to do what they want um, and not particularly to help us do what we need. Uh, most of the people in power have immense amounts of power economically already. If not, they soon acquire it. And their interests are really not the interests of ordinary people. Now, they may have a good heart and try and think about the other people, but they are not the other people. We are the other people. We are the people for whom it matters. And this is, of course, the problem with charity and so on, that essentially people who are providing charity or help, they're helping from above. They are saying, oh, aren't I a good person? Look, I can help these poor benighted people. Where really we need people to say, 
we are the people who need these things and this is what we need to do to get them. Now, I'm not going to go into a long political rave tonight. Tonight is the solstice. And I love the solstice because the solstice is a, a universal holiday, meaning it is an actual objective holiday relating to the universe, not to some cultural thing. It doesn't relate to who has died or who was born or some events in human history. What it relates to is this is the day where the sun reaches the highest north declina uh, declination. That means it's the longest day in the northern hemisphere and the shortest day in the southern hemisphere. And it is the day where that turns around. From here on out, the north is going to get darker and the south is going to get lighter. And it's as simple as that, but it's something we can all celebrate. We can say, yeah, this is simply the cycle of life in a very real sense. Our planet, you know, spinning around the sun, we've done another spin. Um, and for us at the dark of the year, turning towards the light, traditionally that's been a time when people celebrate a rebirth, where we celebrate the new that can come into the world. And hopefully, yeah, uh, we will be thinking about how we can make this world a better place, what new things we can do in our lives, personally, politically, socially, with one another, you know, how we can improve our health, glass of wine, <laughs> how we can um, improve our well-being. <clears throat> anyway, uh, personally, I like the pagan frameworks because they relate more towards Earth. I don't believe in literal gods and goddesses, um, but they stand for something. And so, yeah, may Hecate bless us. Hecate, the goddess of magic, the goddess of you know, something completely different, the mistress of the trivia, the trivia, the three roads um, of youth, maturity, and old age, the goddess of transformation, and um, yeah, she's a wonderful goddess. She can look after us uh, in times of transformation. Hopefully she can bring a little bit of magic into our lives. I think we bloody well need a bit of magic because things are pretty dire right now. Um, I call on Gaia, the goddess of the earth, the goddess of the life that sustains us, the planet that we live on, the web of life that we live within. Uh, if she's not happy with us, then we're stuffed because we're completely dependent on nature and life and so on. And just because we see her as a goddess and to some degree our mother and nurturing. Mother isn't always a nice figure. Uh, sometimes she can be quite um, hard when we violate her rules and her rules and her laws are not like human laws. When we violate the laws of nature, we pay. We pay. There is no way around it. Anyway, maybe a little bit of magic will help. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll stop there. I have a few other deities I perhaps I personally like. I tend to be very much a Buddhist also in my life and, and something of a Taoist. Um, I don't feel like I want to get caught up in any of the formality of any of these things. Buddhism appeals to me because it is really a method for becoming more aware, more aware of ourselves, more aware of our surroundings. And being aware is a very good thing. Taoism speaks to me with its sense of the mystery that lies at the heart of everything 
and being able to go with the flow. I'm a big fan of Heraclitus, the philosopher who said, you never step in the same river twice, that everything is always changing. Life is change, life is flux. Anyway, happy uh, solstice to you all. Solstice happens at the same time everywhere on Earth because it is a universal event. It happens when the Earth takes a certain position to the Sun. And so time zones don't matter, borders don't matter, nations don't matter. It's a universal objective event. Happy Solstice. May you all find peace in your heart and magic in your heart and uh, a blessing for yourselves and a way to work with everyone else. Okay? So what it be.